today we're going to look at a scenario where Germany forms an empire in 2022. So it's going to be similar to the German Confederation, German Empire, Nazi Germany, but I'm going to make like it similar. And it will attack their weak neighbors first, the weakest neighbors. So I have Germany colored in red here, and they're going to invade some countries now. First off, they invade Denmark. So we see German forces pushing into Denmark. I won't like say that they're gonna be like roll, rolling over Denmark. The only reason is German, like the German army is defensive. So there's not much attacking. It's not gonna attacking, but they're gonna defending. And if a country attacks Germany, there's no way that Germany is gonna get that country for free. But um, Denmark is not that strong. So they be pushing up. They didn't stop, so they keep on pushing up and capturing all of mainland Denmark out here. And now Germany decides to get a peace treaty. So this is the peace treaty. So we can see Germany getting a straight line border with Denmark. So now we see Germany invading the weakest neighbor. Around. So um, the German Empire, you can have Poland and a little bit of France. And I believe some in Czech Republic, I think. But, um... France and Poland, which one's weaker? Of course, it's Poland. But it's a lot stronger than it was in 1939, so... Yeah. We see German troops pushing into Poland from their borders. But we see a German counterattack, which pushes back the German army. Oh, wait. I don't know why I said German. It's supposed to be Polish. We see German counter-invasion, which pushes and connects with Kaliningrad. And they push you down. They want to own like the recent lands, which is like kind of like this, I believe. So uh, the German army decided to sue for peace and hope to get that land. So this is the border so far of the German Empire. It's it's an empire, by the way. They occupy um a large chunk of Poland here, like before the old border was here. And when the Russian Empire was here, they occupied here. But this is the German Empire now. They took over a lot of Denmark, a, bit, a big chunk in Poland, and yeah, they're good. But they're going to invade more countries. So next, they invade the Dutch. This is not part of the German Empire, but they're going to do it anyway. So we see German sold troops pushing into the Netherlands. They capture Amsterdam, and the country surrenders. So we see full annexation of the Dutch, and the next country that they're going to invade is Czechia. So we see German troops pushing into Czech Republic from all of these borders. I don't remember where the capital, but they surrender. So this is the empire so far. It took all of Czech Republic, it's fully annexed by Germany. Maybe let's just call it German Empire. This one is Austria. So do they push into the Panhandle of Austria? I know mountain exists like around here, like here, but the Austrian soldiers hold out over here. They push you, but the Austrian soldiers are completely kicked out and are pushed here. Vienna is captured by the German forces and the country surrenders. So this is the peace treaty. We see um, Austria getting fully annexed by Germany and Germany is looking one of the most powerful countries in the world now. So now we're going to see Germany expanding some more. Uh, they invade those countries all at once, which is all these countries. So they're going to have some troops hoping here, some troops here. So they capture Luxembourg and push it to Belgium. So if Belgium surrenders because they don't want to, you know, die right away. So now we see German troops um, capturing the coast of these three countries, which just in Slovenia. Just like, it's it's like one pixel right there. But I always see German troops pushing into Hungary from the north. And pushing, no, this is Hungary, that's Slovakia, sorry, Slovakia. And push into Hungary. They cut the Slovenian troops and um, the Slovakian and Hungarian troops. Slovenia surrenders first, fo followed by Slovakia, and after that, Hungary. Let's look at the peace treaty. So this is the peace treaty. So we see of uh, Germany annexing Luxembourg and getting some parts out of Belgium. And we see the fully annexing Hungary, Slovakia, and Slovenia. So the next country is gonna be the largest, like 
like the most powerful country they invaded so far, which is France. Well, Switzerland is, isn't going to join this war, and I believe Germany will invade Switzerland, but they won't do it just yet. Belgium joins the side of France. I think they would, but I don't think they would. Like, it's, it's your opinion, so they might invade, they might not in join, I believe. They push into Belgium and push into France. This is like the World War One strategy and the World War Two strategy. They invade Belgium and then go through. So they invade Belgium and go through and and try to reach Paris. So the German army advance into France and France is not looking too good here. They will be on some allies, maybe like the US or the UK, but let's say the UK joins the war inside of France. I won't call it the islands. So Paris is right there, so Paris, you're gonna be down soon. The British make some landings here on the coast, one in Utah and in Omaha, and push back the Germans. But we see a German counter invasion or attack, which reached the gates of Paris. We see a east of France fall, um, and then Paris is very close to being liberated. So we see the bloodiest battles of the German Empire expansion here, and the UK and France pushes the Germans back. Now we see another German counterattack, which captures France pretty successfully, and encircled these troops. These troops are followed, the north one is followed by the second one. So now France lost their capital city, and France surrenders, and the UK sees no hope fighting, and they leave the war. Let's look at the peace treaty. So this is peace treaty. So we see, um, Germany uh, annexing Belgium and this part of France. So that's pretty much it for this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, turn post notifications. See you in the next one. Bye, guys.